Okay, so let's get started with um, as how to import a CSV file and create Coco points within your Civil 3D. So first is um, open your drawing and go to your prospect tab. You got points. Right click, click on create, and you get the flyer toolbar. As I said in the previous lessons, uh, all these tools are for creating Coco points manually. And the last button is actually for importing points. So we're going to use that now. So I'm going to click on import points. And it is actually a four stage process. So first you click on the plus sign and you can go and browse. I got my uh, data set in my desktop. So I'm going to double click into Civil 3D training backup folder. And now just for the convenience point of view, I'm going to drag and drop the AEC data set to the top and then the save files under that. So every time I open a file, so I'm going to go from this folder. Every time I save the file, I'm going to go and save into this file, into this folder. I'm going to AEC dataset. I'm going to change the file type to CSV. I'm going to use PENZD NS points. So this is also a good point to note down, guys. So whenever you get files from your surveyors, so make sure that you have some meaningful information in the file name itself. So one of the things which I do as a naming convention is store the file format in the file name itself. So right now it tells me P is a point number, E is easting, northing, and Z for elevation and D for description. So because let's say if you if you get this file and if you if you're taking a look at it after after a couple of months or something like that, we don't know which is your X column and Y column. So it is not always standard. The X column comes at uh, before the Y column, so it could be any order. So I'm going to choose a PEN NZD NS points. I'm going to click on open. And once you've done it, it's going to load it. So you can add multiple files as well. It's not necessary. You should just get only one file. And then you pick the format. So this is all the available formats that you have at the moment. Just be careful. Um, there is there is also comma delimited and there will also be some space delimited as a delimited files as well. So I'm going to choose PENZD comma delimited. And also you can see there is P and E Z D, which basically switch the X and Y columns. So I'm going to use P E N Z D comma delimited because that is actually the file which I have at the moment. And check the preview. And it's always quickly, uh, it's always easy to spot some of these columns. First is a point number, which is a sequential number. Your point elevation will always be like sort of like a uh, median values. And then your raw description will be a text. And only thing you need to be uh, careful is your X and Y columns. And once that is done, you can directly put all these points into a group. If you want to basically point group is like a folder you can put them into. Um, I'm going to show a better way rather than you put this one through this option. So if you're going to use this option, pretty much every time you get a new point that you want to put into a group, you have to manually do it. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little automation into the point group. That means whenever you import a point with a certain description, it automatically goes into the group. So that is what we're going to do. And then you can choose uh, some of the advanced options here and then click OK. And wait, it depends on how big is your point file. Sometimes if it's like a half a million files or 1.2 or 2.0 million files and things like that, then it's going to take a while. And uh, also uh, Civil 3D has got a top level limit of how many points that you can import. Um, so we're going to talk about that when, we, when we're going to deal with uh, when we're going to discuss about survey database. Middle mouse button twice, that's to do the zoom extent. And you get the points up here. So as I said, once you're done with the operation, just close your flyer toolbar. So now the points are imported. This is all my points. And you can zoom in closer and you can see the points up here. That's got the marker as well as the label. So everything is good. So thanks for watching, guys. We're going to see more in the next lesson where we're going to see how to actually put them into groups and customize these uh, point lay markers and labels. Uh, yeah, keep watching uh, more tutorials. Thanks for watching Expertizer. Academy's uh, Civil 3 tutorial. Catch you soon.